Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your friendly neighborhood saxophone player, Lafayette Gunner Jr. So, um, I know you guys have been wondering what I've been up to all this time. Yeah, I've been I've been just been really busy. Uh, I've been working on some original stuff and I I've been working a day job and stuff and gigging. You know, I still been been doing a lot of it's been pretty busy on my end. So, um I, I just want to uh, make this video uh, for all my subscribers on YouTube uh, to just say thank you. Wow, you know, I made made it to four, uh, 400 subscribers. That's awesome. Um, I just looked at my YouTube and was like, wow, like people really watch my content. And that's, it just makes, puts a smile on my face. And I, I really appreciate each and every last one of you guys for subscribing for my channel and stuff like that. And um, yeah, you know, I've just been, um, uh, I have been, ha I'm not the type that really likes to talk too much about on social media, about my business and stuff and what I'm currently really kind of, because I've been going, th me and my family have been going through a lot of, you know, you know, a lot of stuff. We, we have been going through a pretty rough living situation and stuff like that. So it's been pretty tough and I'm going to leave it at that because, you know, I'm, you know, I don't like to put my whole business out there when I'm struggling, you know, and stuff like that. But other than that, yeah, you know, I've been working a job, I've been gigging, I've been making money. So, hey, you know, life is good on that end. And uh, I'm in high spirits, you know, I'm with my family, I got my daughter and my wife and, you know, and my mom and, you know, people, you know, that care about me a lot. You know, I think about them all the time and I thank them every day. Uh, love you, mom. Love you, Destiny. Uh, and love you, Zuri. <laughs> if you watch this video when you get older, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, a, I'm definitely going to tell you about this stuff, especially when she gets older. So yeah. Uh, anyways, um, so I, I remember uh, I was watching some videos and I uh, had some people ask me some questions about my gear. We're gonna just talk about gear, uh, saxophone gear. Uh, I don't think I, I think I did a while back about saxophone gear that I had and stuff like that. And what do I what do I currently play on? Um and that's what worked what really worked for me for all throughout all these years of me playing. So um for starters I'm gonna talk about um uh, uh what mouthpieces, uh, ligatures, reeds and accessories, goodies, you know, saxophone stuff and if you guys aren't into that uh, for those of you that are watching that are not into nerdy saxophone gear type stuff i don't think this is a video for you um <laughs> if you want to know about my family and stuff you know that's another video for another time but uh yeah uh, so let's get started let's start right into it yeah okay so this is one of my money makers um this tenor was bought in uh, well, well, actually, my father bought this horn for me for after he bought me actually uh, two horns uh, when I graduated high school, and this was one of them. Uh, this was this is my baby. Uh, I've had this tenor for a long, long time. Uh, I've had it. I've had it since 2019, and um, yeah, uh, this this thing is a. Uh, well, it was a it was a late graduation present because uh, I graduated in 2017, and he had, had he had the money saved up to buy some horns for me, and I I really appreciate my dad for that. Um, so these horns uh, are called Sax Dakota. Now, Sax Dakota is a, a brand that I think should be publicized a little bit more, and I, I'm probably gonna speak on these horns a lot more too. Um, I, I really appreciate these horns a lot. I don't know if a lot of people probably not heard of them, but they are great horns. Um, if they're set up right, you know, because <laughs> I've played a couple Sax Dakotas and they weren't, they, they wasn't set up right the way they were supposed to be. Maybe they probably came out the factory or they might have, you know, when they were shipping the horns and stuff and they might have moved in the, the, the case or something. It, it's, it, ha it happens before when you have newer horns and you have to readjust them and stuff. But, you know, I'm pretty sure all, you know, like Cannonball or um, P. Moriot, you know, Yamaha, they probably had that issue too. But, um, yeah, this is this is called the, uh, the SD, SDT XR 
52 model. And uh, you can see that it's got the jet black and the bell. Uh, the, it's got that cool, like, key guard, you know, type of modern look to it. It's got that vintage uh, matte finish keys on it. And the cool part about it is that it's got, it's got a silver neck on it. And I love this horn. Um, this is my main, my main go-to tenor saxophone. So yeah, I've been definitely playing this horn for some, some time. My mouthpiece, uh, is a Van Doren V16. Uh, uh, actually, you know, I should probably do that. A Van Doren V16 T7. And I've been playing on this currently. I played on other mouthpieces like Autolink, Berg Larson, all kind of stuff, Duke Off. And then I've, I've landed on this hard rubber piece and it worked for me for many, many years. And uh, Van Doren, kudos to you guys. You guys great, make great mouthpieces. And I loved you guys so much that I wind up buying, uh, well, that was the new one. This is the very first uh, T7 I've actually owned from you guys. And this mouthpiece has done me wonders. I've, 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 I've just, just love this mouthpiece. <laughs> Um, so it, I loved it so much that I wind up buying another one. <laughs> so it's a great mouthpiece. Um, and I'm probably, this is probably going to be the mouthpiece of my choice until I die. So, um, uh, I'm looking forward to getting a metal one soon. Very, very soon. Um, and, um, uh, yeah, of course, ligature wise, I play on the, um, I should show you that. That's the MO. They come in different finishes and stuff like that. I got the unlacquered finish. And also I have the, uh, Sometimes I go back and forth between the optimum ligature, you know, on alto, tenor, barry, soprano. I mean, I, I love, I love those mouthpieces. They're great. Um, so the second money maker I have is my alto. Now my alto is the same brand. It's a Sax Dakota as well. Um, this is another money maker that I love so dearly. Um, my father bought this horn for me as well. And I'm never selling these horns. You know, I, I, I made a lot of money off of these horns too. Um, uh, so this is the SDA XR82. And this horn is great. Um, it's cool for R&B, jazz, you name it, uh, reggae, you know. I played it on any on every gig. Both of these horns are on a lot of gigs. A lot of different situations and they hold up wonderful. So Sax Dakota, I love you guys. Keep making great horns. One day I might actually get a soprano and another tenor from you guys, and and probably another alto too, in the, in the near future. Um, you guys have great horns, and uh, love you guys. And of course, I do play on a V sixteen A five on alto, uh, A A A five. I mean, and you can you you can't even see the A five anymore. It's just been washed out. <laughs> I've had this mouthpiece forever. Um, I play this mouthpiece on all my horns. You know, I, I love these mouthpieces. Uh, and if that's pretty much my gear, everyone. Yeah, you guys. Um, if you like the video, uh, give a comment, give it, smash that like button, and um, keep subscribing. Uh, thank you guys for um, uh, just staying staying tuned and you know just watching my videos. It's it means a lot to me. So I hope you guys just. I hope you know. I just really appreciate every, every last one of you guys. <laughs>